Ah, yeah. Um, here's another quick tutorial, five minute tutorial, hopefully, less than that. Two items you have to do for your last part of your exam. Um, this here is your database. You can tell your database table because it has got a table icon. Okay, double click on it. You want to make a copy of this database. Very very simple. Right click, copy, and if you stay highlighted, click anywhere in this white space down here. Just click anywhere. Then right click again and paste. You'll get this box here. You want structure and data. If it's structure only, you just get the your database with field names and set out the same way you'll not have any data in the middle. You need structure and data. Uh, copy of cat details, click OK and it pastes that same database back in here. If you look how it's numbered, the top one's Fido, the bottom one is Slorth. Funny name. So if we double click the copy you'll see top one Fido, bottom one Slorth. I think that's all you were wanting, so again, to delete this one, I have to close it first, then highlight it on here, then right click and delete. Okay, that was the first thing you wanted to do. The next thing you wanted to do was export this into a Word document. You can have your Word open or close, it makes no, no difference. Um, you said you wanted to insert this document into another Word document. Um, I'll show you why you can't do that, and then I'll show you how to kind of work around it. Um, okay, you run your cat, de cat details. That's your database. Whatever your table is, is your database. If you have five tables, each individual one of them are a database. But anyway, this this is your database. You've only got one in your 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 program the exams or whatever it is you're doing. So you're on the home tab, come up to this tab here, external data, click it once. And if you look at the different words here, you've got import, and that's if you want to take a document into access. You want to export it and you want to export it to Word different options of where you can export it to. None of these apply for what you're doing. You can actually export it to another access database if you wanted to, but anyway, forget all that rubbish. All you want to do is export it to Word. You could also create a PDF from this, I forgot to mention that, but you want to export it to Word, so left click on Word. I've done this once already, so you'll get this dialog box coming up. And Click this one here, open the destination file after the export operation is complete, and then click OK. I've already done this once, as I say, so do you want to replace it? Yes. You won't get that last wee box here. Anyway, after you click OK, this will happen. And we can see what I was telling you about... I'll go back to access just now. What I was telling you before we can close this about the, the structure of the data. You want to go back into your home tab and your design view and to anyway, it doesn't actually matter about what you're doing here because you're not going to fix it in here. You want to shorten your or narrow down your your width, if you like, because what, go back to data sheet view, this here is going to be more than one page wide on a portrait oriented Word document. The only way you're going to get this lot to fit on a single page is either to lose some of your columns here, which you may or may not want to do, but the, the other way you can do it is if you, on the Word document, on this document here, table tools, and go to where it says layout, and 
if you go to auto fit and then left click and the middle one auto fit window if you left click that it will narrow everything down so that it fits on the one field you may not need every column in your database like for instance we have field one here we'll get rid of that we don't need that just highlight it right click it and delete columns it says columns plural but it's only one column we're deleting and again left click on this little cross here here left click on that back up to auto fit back up to auto fit window left click and you can keep doing that until you get your page as you want it now at this moment in time I don't hopefully you'll see this but at this moment in time this is called cat details dot rtf it's, although it's opened in word it's not a word document if you try to put this into a word document it won't it won't go there so what you need to do up to file up to save as and you see here better it says RTF it's rich text format it's not a word document so what you would then do is go into into here and save it as a top one word document um, you can save it in earlier versions of word as well but you don't need to do that it's a, this one here the top one word document left click give it a name if you want I'll just leave it as that and then click save just say you have to say oh, okay this doesn't matter click OK now it's a word document if I needed to um, I'm just going to open another word document just for a second a new one blank document and I think I showed you this before you do the rand with the square brackets with the circular brackets you can get some text in here and you would be wanting to put your table somewhere in amongst that so let's try and put it in the middle of a, a two paragraph we'll get rid of this middle paragraph and we want to put your table there you then go back to your word document and then you copy the table you don't have to copy the word document just the table then go to the document you just created and then control and V will paste that document in there hopefully I've got that all just on the one page and if you highlight the whole lot, I'm not tried this, I'm just thinking that this works, it may not work. Highlight the whole lot. No, it's not giving you the option to center everything. You, you could center it using these tabs, but I wouldn't. I would just leave it as it is. So, there you go. Hopefully that helps you. And if you go to your file print preview window, that's what the document will look like. So there you go, 8 minutes, less than 9 minutes, hopefully it helps you. I will check.